God is good. God is really good. I've got my tea, which I missed yesterday because I was on my photo shoot for Boom. And I'm a little tired because my flight got in really late. And uh, yeah, I'm a little tired. My hair is a little, little messy. But you know what? I had to come on and say, God is so good. God is so good. He was with me. I brought God with me the entire trip to LA for the Boom Beauty event. I brought him with me. I had him in my heart. We talked. We talked on the plane. We talked in the, in the hotel. We talked on the Uber ride to the event. We talked during the day at the event. And as I left, I thanked him. I praised him. I was like, God, you were so good. He made this event so good. So good. To pinch myself that I had this opportunity to work with amazing ladies. The girls were just awesome. The company is beautiful, pro-aging. I have to tell you, I was a little nervous because they said, you know, we're not gonna, I asked the makeup artist, okay, what are we, you know, what makeup are we using? She said, we're just using Boom products. And I said, what foundation? She's like, we're not using foundation. And I was like, a little like, and I'm glad my skin, you know, that I have nice skin. But I have to tell you, I was a little hesitant, you know, hoping that the pictures look great because I generally do like to wear some foundation. And I have to tell you, it just looked amazing. With just so little. And that's the thing, when, you're, when you have good skin care, oh my gosh, I look awful, and my nose is running. When you have good skin care and you take care of your skin, you don't need, excuse me, you don't need, oh, you don't need to hide it. You can just put on a few products and really make your skin, you know, let your skin be the, be the showcase. Although my nose was a little bit red, but you know what? It just, I don't know, everything, when, when the, the cameras came on, everything just looked great. Everything looked great. Just, I just had to get it out. I just had to get out. Although, you know what? Something else, the, the makeup artist there, she says, you know, you should really think about getting a perm because I was telling her my lashes are so straight and they grow down and menopause has just kicked their butts. And so she says she does an at-home perm on the lashes. So I'm, I might try that. But anyway, I just wanted to say, I love you. Whoever's listening, I love you. And I love God. And I invite you. I know I sound like crazy woman and I, I even got a raspy voice because I didn't sleep much if we allow it you know God is always there he is always there for us always we just have to wake up to it and you will have the best conversations ever like I was in my car on the way home from the airport just talking to God talking out loud and you know, and I got to thinking I said you know my mother used to talk to herself when she, and I thought when I was younger like in high school and I thought well this is weird like I'm not gonna do that when I get older and I'm doing that when I get older. And you know what? I like it. I like the conversations that I have with myself, which is not really myself. I'm having it with God. I'm having a conversation full on with God, and it is beautiful. Leftover curls. Look at the look at the leftover curls. Look at this. Look at, woo, woo. Look at this. They were like like a ho old Hollywood glamour curls yesterday. Look at that. Okay, that's my rant. I hope you guys have a beautiful start to your weekend and. I'm sending you so much love and cheers. Cheers to a beautiful new day. One more thing. If you don't know where to start, if you're saying, wow, I like that kind of relationship, but I don't even know where to begin. I don't have a, you know, I've fallen far from God. I've never known God or I did and I felt like he let me down. All you have to do is just have a desire in your heart and just say, hey God, it's me. Kind of like that book, that book, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. It's no different. It's just, a, it's a simple conversation. Get out of your head that he's somewhere out there. He's right here. He's right here. So just act like he's your buddy, because he is. He is. And he deeply desires. You know, he desires, he desires greatly for you to give your worries, your concerns, your joys, all of the goodness, all the sorrows, he wants you to give it to him. He doesn't want you to carry that. That has never been the intent, ever. So stop doing that if you are. And just sit down and say, have a cup of coffee with me, God. Let's talk. Okay.